Well, hello there, and today I'm going to do something a bit different. I'm going to be creating a logo for my channel, and I think uh, there's a few steps involved in creating a logo. I know one of them is to get an outline of this van, so you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an outline of the silver cabin because that might be an option I want to I want to look into, or maybe just do a very simple logo, a lettering logo. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm going to work on one so that I could use it for for 2021 and ideally um, it, gi it gives me a little more I think the term is branding okay anyway guys one second okay so I stopped over here at this parking lot so we'll just get out okay just get out uh, make sure I have my keys I don't lock myself out and here we go I'm gonna walk over here I'm gonna go over here so there's the uh, the logo right there okay Anyway, so I took a picture of my van and it looked pretty good. And I made sure that I didn't have perspective turned on or rather I, I took two types of pictures, one with perspective turned on and the other one with no perspective turned on. I guess that would be orthographic. Is that correct? Yeah. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I could fire up an app that I used to use way, way back and see how much of it I can remember. Hey there. So I'm still thinking about this logo again. I can't seem to get any ideas. And I thought, okay, well, how about I start off with some sketches? I, I think the idea, I think for me, the main thing is I need to define exactly, you know, what I want to do. Am I going north, south, west, or east? I think one of the first stages when you design anything, I think, let's say a logo in this case here, is you need to define uh, exactly what it is you're trying to accomplish, what it is you're trying to, I think, project out there. and. You know, for example, the Nike logo, everyone sees the Nike logo or the FedEx logo. You know, at its inception, I, those logos really didn't have any value. It was just really some, some logo. The value was added by the things that logo represented, the things that was done to add value to that logo. So right now, whatever I make really won't have that much value. The only value it'll have is maybe subjective value where people say, oh, that's neat, you know, that's a cool logo. I think that would be pretty cool. So, I'm going to attempt not to overthink this. I'm just going to define exactly what I want to do, and then I'm going to uh, sketch stuff out, and then start designing it. And then, at some point, hopefully, I'll have somewhat the making of a logo. And I'm going to attempt to use a, a program called Inkscape, and I've used it before. It, it actually worked out good for me, and I'm going to try to figure out a way to get some software that allow me to to record my screen. So. Following me on this new journey on creating a logo for the Silver Cabin. Thanks a lot. Yeah, actually we're not done yet, so I'm just so used to saying thanks a lot. Anyway guys, thanks a lot. Oh, I did it again. Bye. Okay, so what is this? Day three on my attempted logo development. And you know what I was thinking was how about I start off with something really simple and really accessible no really really okay i think we got something here so i've got a square and i've got a circle and the idea or rationale behind this is i want my logo to be reproducible in a tiny form for example maybe a little crest or maybe the bottom right hand corner of a video screen or maybe larger, as big as my van. I don't know. Or maybe something else. But it's got to be the kind of thing. It's got to fit within these, this sort of like this box. Because when you look at a lot of logos, from what I can tell, is it fits within either a circle or a square. And also, you know when you look at the the, the, the YouTube, the, the channel icon, or when I post something, or when you post something, it's always within this little circle. So if it doesn't fit within that circle, it's pretty much of a dead. It cuts it off. So... I'd like to be I'd like it to sort of fit within that little area anyway guys so I'm on my break here at work and I was looking at the amazing progress I've made <laughs> the amazing progress of having a square and a circle and then I thought okay well what would my logo contain so I think it would contain for example most likely like an outline of my van so there I'm gonna have a van outline granted I didn't draw it yet what else do I want my van to contain? No, not van, logo. What the? 
<laughs> what else do I want on my logo? So I'm going to start listing them out here. And I've got my little list here. So I want it to have trees, mountains, so like a feel good to it. And I like to keep it simple. Of course, the reality is I don't have mountains where I am. I am in the GTA, the Greater Toronto Area in Ontario, Canada, and I'm usually uh, in suburbia because that's where I'm close by the where, where I work around that area. So what exactly am I going to place there? Well, I thought, well, let's put in some buildings. No, not really. I don't want buildings. Well, how about some parks? Notice I spelled parks wrong. I, I spelled parks, but it's actually parks. But then I thought, wait a sec here. This logo represents where I am, but also where I want to be, right? So, you know where I want to be? I want to be where there's trees and mountains. And so, I thought to myself, well, okay, how about some van outline, some trees, some mountains, some feel good, something simple, and something recognizable as well. So, those are usually the main things I would most likely fa find in places where I want to be. Oh, and also water, probably. Yeah, water, water. Um, animals, things like that, um, rocks. But at this point, it's, it's not becoming simple. It's becoming very complex. And I want the logo to be simple. And I want it to be able to be reproducible in a, uh, a, a small scale. You know, from a large scale, it's much easier, but a small scale so that, you know, you could, you could print it out on paper or something and it's not going to be destroyed. So it's got to be, there's got to be something simple about it. So I guess, I guess my next question is, you know, what styling, what colors, like there's so many different types of logo styles and illustration styles. There's logos that, that look really good in one color. There's logos that look awful. There's logos that look like other logos, you know, and there's logos that don't even look like a logo. It doesn't say logo. So all right, sometimes it says logo. So how exactly am I going to do this? Anyway, I'm running out of time. Um, my break is almost over, so I'll continue on later on. Okay, so it seems that I can't get any logo ideas that I like. So what I like to do is I actually like to take a step back and regroup. Sort of like, just like in life, sometimes you have to take a step back, regroup and, and reset, that kind of thing. Uh, as for me... I went for a walk. It was kind of cold outside, but I had my little hoodie. Okay, so that was always good. And, you know, at this point, um, what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to do a part two, or as the French would call it, part deux, on how I'm going to be designing this logo. And I'm not going to stress over it. And the reality is I'm not really stressing over it. I'm more like, I want it to look good, but at the same time, I don't want it to be not fun uh, because I think the process of creating or developing anything it should be pretty fun otherwise maybe you shouldn't be doing it right unless there's a grander or higher purpose unless there's a sort of like something a really big reward for you sometimes you have to take that uncomfortable job or uh, sometimes you have to do things that you don't necessarily want to do to get something else you know something better later on down the road i'm, I'm talking about um uh, delaying your gratification in terms of just um how you how you how you live your life for example you know i'm working full time and i'm also my hours are increasing so uh, there are a lot of benefits but i'm also giving up some of my time which by the way at some point hopefully that's not going to be it you know I'm, I'm of the personal opinion that you know trading your time for dollars you know may not be always the best case scenario or the best thing for something some people it's great works out for them um for me i am kind of thinking very differently about it but that's an, on a completely different level Ah, I did it again. I did it again, didn't I? I, I went on a tangent. Welcome to the Tangent Group. Um, yeah, welcome to James's Tangent Show, where he starts talking about something that goes off on a different, <laughs> on a different path. Okay, that's right. Logo design. So I'm gonna take a step back, and I'm gonna maybe create a. I'm gonna create a part two for this logo. So you uh, look out for it, and uh, maybe, and at some point, maybe I'll do one giant uh, video of how the whole process went. For now, um. I'm just going to relax. I'm just for today and just take a step back and maybe I'll get some, some decent ideas. If not, you know, all's not lost. I'm, I'm in no real big rush to create this logo, but I would like a nicer logo to sort of, um, you know, develop my little YouTube channel that I'm trying to grow. And wait a sec. I'm hearing music. Guys, you know what that means? You know what that means? That means you got to like, 
please like, support my channel, please subscribe and share it with your friends. I would really appreciate it. I'm trying to get to the whole, the holy grail of, of YouTube-ness right now. And that's getting about a thousand subscribers. And right now I think I'm at around 380 or 390. Yeah, I think I'm around 390. And last time I checked, depends on when I post, post the video. And it's slowly growing. I think by the end of January, I'm expecting at least 400 subscribers. And who knows if I can get to it, to the 1,000 subscribers, that'd be fantastic. And I would really appreciate it. And then obviously the next part of that, from what I remember reading about monetization, it's about another 4,000 hours or something that you have to do. But but that's not a hint or there. Like to me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this anyway, regardless of that. But that would be a really nice thing to have. And uh, you know, see where this goes. And uh, again, I appreciate everyone who subscribed. Uh, it's really important to me. And I hope you're getting some benefit from this, what I'm talking about. Whether it's a bit of mirth on a Monday, or maybe maybe you're planning your own build and you're getting some ideas with, with my own current current build right here, which is a 2008 Dodge Grand Caravan and very affordable. Uh, I think it's one of the most affordable vans out there. Uh, lots of parts for it. I mean, just look look around. Um, you know, go outside and you go start driving. You'll see a Dodge Grand Caravan just turning the corner or park or you know or something. So there's always a mechanic that can actually do this stuff. But maybe that's another idea for a video that I can do. But for now, thank you very much. And remember, like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.